welcome to another children's church with me, Rachel, and Joanna. <laughs> it's going to be a really special one this week. Yet you're really going to enjoy it because it's all about Mary, the angel, and Joseph. But the angel really has an important role in today's story. Anyway, let's have a look at how you got on doing the craft from last week. fantastic everyone thank you so much for doing that we, we hope that this week when you have a go at the craft you'll, you'll also send in photos and then we get to see them again next week and it makes it really special for everyone it does right now though let's have a look at this week's video you're really going to enjoy this one the story of Christmas Mary and Joseph this is Mary you see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law <laughs> and had never been married. Oops. But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey -o. Hi, Joseph! One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah! That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. Huh? She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and he will be the king forever. Mary asked, but how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow. So that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow. The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. Eh, okay, let's do this. So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong. Uh. But Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh, uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Huh, what? The angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus, and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, wow. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him. Uh, hi. You right? Really? Yeah! And took Mary as his wife, while she was still pregnant with the Son of God. And so Joseph and Mary trusted in God, and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. Not 
that's a really special story, isn't it? Probably a lot of people's favourite story in the whole Bible. But, how do you think Mary felt when she found out that she was expecting a baby and she hadn't even married Joseph? <gasps> tired. Tired? Yeah. yeah, well, pregnant ladies often do feel tired. <laughs> but she probably felt scared? Shocked. Yeah, very, very shocked. Alarmed. Yeah. Terrified. Overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure yeah. she did. What about the angel? How do you think the angel felt? The angel? <laughs> the angel was just giving God's story, God's message. Mm. Mm. But how do you think Mary felt when she thought about what the angel had said to her? Even more tired. <laughs> I think she wanted to do what was God's will. She wanted to do what was right. Yeah. But it still would have been really, really hard for her. What about Joseph? Now, the angel appeared in a dream to Joseph. How do you think Joseph felt after he thought about what the angel had said? Mm, a bit surprised, really. Yeah, yeah. I think he too wanted to do God's will and he wanted to do what was yeah. right. And he wanted to help and support Mary after he thought about what the angel had yes. said. So he, he was a good chap. Yes. We'll put Joseph next to Mary. And we'll put the angel over here. Now, did you say you've got a game, Joanna? We have got a game. Right. <laughs> I believe it involves this. It does indeed. Now. You said it was a guessing game? Yes, it's a guessing game. Okay. Has anybody played Pictionary before? Okay. So, we are going to take it in turns to draw something to do with the Christmas story and to do with Christmas and to do with exactly what we've just said about the angel and Mary and Joseph. And the other person is going to be guessing what this person is going to be drawing and whilst we're drawing I'm going to challenge all of you at home to try and guess what we're drawing. Okay. Oh. 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 So I'm going Who's to get you draw to draw first? first. I need to draw first do I? You are going to draw first. Oh okay. Uh, right. right. I'm allowed to have my eyes open am I? Mm. We did yes, debate this. Yes, we'll allow you to have your eyes okay, open. Right. We need to draw sideways on. You do, yeah. As quickly as possible. Yeah, quickly okay. as possible. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Oh. Circle. Egg. Easter. No, that's not this one. Sunshine. Spider. Um, bird. Come on, Hippopotamus. Joanna. Come on. Hippo. Come on. Donkey. Speak. Yes. Has to be something to do with Christmas story. <laughs> right. Right. The donkey. You know I've got this one. Oh, yep. Okay. 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 On, My go. Right. Let me see. Okay. Okay. All right. Guitar. Nope. Ah. Uh, oh. A tooth. Nope. Oh. It's like a turkey leg on a plate. It's a whole turkey. It's a whole turkey. A whole turkey. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a good picture. That. Thank you. Okay, shame to rub that one out, really. But come on, I'm, I'm, I've got to have a go next. We've got some steam. Right. Oh, turkey. Right. But is a turkey really part of the Christmas story? Mm, maybe not. Right, maybe I've, not. I've, I've got a better one. Right. right. Can you use this? Yep, go for it. Oh. Oh, very good rubbing out. Okay. Ooh. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, oh, long. Ah. Oh, um, butterfly. Ah, angel. Yes. Oh, well yes. done. Well <laughs> done. Yeah, an angel. That's that's a good one for the Christmas story. Right. One more. Do you think? Yeah. Go on then. Go for it, Joanna. <laughs> okay. 
fine. So Uh, a big, there's a big square, a it's house. A um, oh. House with a door? Oh, no. Not oh, I think I know what it door. is. I think I know. Yeah. It's a present or a gift, isn't it? Looks more like a hot cross bun. <laughs> no, I think it's definitely a gift. And a big bone. Now, is that part of the Christmas story? Well, it is and it isn't. I don't think this exact gift was in the Christmas story, but there was definitely a gift in the Christmas story. What was that gift? Hmm. I can think of several answers. Can you? Could you give me five answers to that question? No. no <laughs> three answers to that question. I can give you one good one and three other ones. That's four. We'll okay. go for that. Okay. That's a compromise. Right. Okay. Right. I think the main gift in the whole of the Christmas story yep. was God sending his son Jesus yeah. and that is well what happens kind of at the end of this story of Mary and Joseph isn't it yeah but I'm sure we we'll come to that in, a, in another week and the fact that God sent his son Jesus to be the saviour of the world that's the greatest gift of all but I mean there, there are also the gifts that the wise men brought as well there was the gold the frankincense and the myrrh but I, I think Jesus is the best gift of all. You're going to enjoy doing this week's craft because you're going to make an angel. Now, the, the kind of shapes that you're going to aim for with the pipe cleaners are going to be this kind of body and head and halo shape, this kind of wing shape, which will come behind here. And if you want to, you can use the stick and something sparkly, stick it together and attach this. So this, this is kind of what you're aiming for. I'll, I'll show you how to make it. Right, Joanna, do you want to glue those bits together? Definitely, that's my job. Fantastic. And what you're going to use is a couple of, well, two, two pipe cleaners of one colour and two pipe cleaners of another colour. And to start with, if you get them both kind of roughly into circle shapes, yeah, kind of like this. So you've twisted two pipe cleaners together just to join them at the top and join them at the bottom. And the same with this one. You can just use one pipe cleaner if you get a smaller angel. Now, um, oh fantastic. If we make a couple of loops in one of these, you'll see what we're doing. We've got one loop here, which can be the halo. We'll do another loop. Which can be the head. And then it's a bit like a snowman. We change this into like an angel's body. Yeah, so we've got an angel's body, a head, and a halo. And then this one, we've got two pipe cleaners going together, and we make like a kind of an eight, number eight shape. Twist it round a little bit. So it's already looking a little bit like angel wings. And then you can push one of them in one side, one of them in the other side. So now you've got better shaped wings. Oh, very good. And then we pop the wings in the angel's body. And twist them around a little bit to hold them on. That looks fantastic. Yeah, I think we're getting there, aren't we? you're aiming for. If you want to join it onto the stick, you can do. Should we join it onto the stick? You could do, yeah. Oh yeah. Right. And hopefully, if you make a good angel like this, it will help you remember the story about, well, there was the angel that visited Mary, there was also the angel that appeared in the dream to Joseph. 
There were also some other angels that appeared further along in the Christmas story as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. There you go. Hey, look at this. Oh. Absolutely fantastic. An angel which you can pop on your Christmas tree or pop in your bedroom. And it can help you to remember this Christmas story every day when you look at it. Right, ready for some prayers everyone? Hopefully you've got some spare pipe cleaners and we're going to use these as we pray and if, if you've got a, a pipe cleaner feel free to make it into the shape of something as we pray and hopefully it will help guide your thoughts. Right, it's a bit like this that guessing game we had earlier. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to make mine into a baby, a big head and a, a body, well, you can imagine it's, it's wrapped in swaddling clothes. <laughs> anyway, I thought we could think about the baby Jesus and thank God that he came as a baby and thank God that he understands us. So should we do that now? Yeah. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that Christmas time is so, so special because you sent the best gift of all, which was baby Jesus. And thank you that he came into the world as an innocent human being and that he, he got to learn a lot about the world and a lot about people. And thank you that he knows a lot about us. And thank you that he understands a lot of the things that we're going through. And thank you that Jesus is the absolute best gift of all. Amen. Amen. So I've made a halo. Oh, I've got an extra big halo for our angel. Yeah. So this halo, um, it represents something that's good, okay? So just like how we often imagine the angel to be very good, there are also other people in our lives who are also very good and who are also almost watching out for us. So this could be the NHS, this could be our parents, our school teachers, our siblings, this could be anyone. So should we say thank you for these people who are looking after us and who are very good in our lives? Okay. 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 Lord, we say thank you for everything that's good in our lives. Thank you for our parents for looking after us. And thank you for the NHS. We pray for the NHS right now. Thank you for them, Lord. And we say thank you for our siblings and our friends and our school teachers and everyone out there who is looking after us right now. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be our name. Your kingdom come, your, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil the kingdom and the power and the glory we are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now this week we've got a double challenge for you. Ooh. There's a little bit to think about and there's a little bit that you can do. Now, the bit to think about, you might need to read the Bible and look in the Bible for this. Try and work out how many times angels appeared throughout the whole of the Christmas story. There's quite a few. Now, what, what was your challenge for you? So, my challenge for you is the do challenge. So, Rachel's just said the think challenge. I'm gonna say the do challenge. So the do challenge is for you to 
make your own little nativity scene in your bedroom and make sure that you include the angel, Mary, Joseph, Jesus, you can include everyone if you'd like to. And what could you use to make them? So you could make them from scratch or you could use wrestling figures and you could dress them up and make a costume so they look like the characters from the Bible. Or you could use Barbies or you could use Teddies, you could use anything. But whatever you use, I'm sure it will look fabulous and it will really show the nativity story. We've got to start here, Joanna. Oh, we have, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure yours is better than ours. <laughs> now I think it's just time for the final song. I hope you enjoy this. Can you give me one thing? 